Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm out in the factory working. I was 60 orders behind, but I'm working all weekend. And when I get done Monday morning, I should only be 10 behind, 10 or 12. So, uh, getting a handle on this. <coughs> now, on another note, uh, I'm sure everybody's seen the video on this uh, ceramic wool, this white stuff. Uh, that you keep seeing on the internet. Oh, and it's just the answer to life's the answer to all. If you're if you're an alcohol stove guy, this this is the answer to everything, according to the internet and you know how that works. Uh, so I watched a bunch of videos and I noticed a reoccurring thing. One is everybody handled it like this. Nobody ever made any more skin contact than was necessary. And nobody tried to bend it and form it to any degree and never never ruffled the surface or anything. So I thought, it doesn't look like it smells. So I'm going to buy a great big chunk of this. And I did. I bought a pickup load of it. And I'm going to play with it. Well, as soon as I got it, <coughs> I, I noticed several things that probably weren't in the video. So let me tilt the camera up a little bit. First off, I'm doing this being handed. I don't know this, so don't quote me, and I could be totally wrong. But I suspect that this is a lot like fiberglass insulation in that it's a fine enough grain so that it will get into your pores. It is a ceramic, ceramic wool, and ceramic is nothing but glass, so it's basically like fiberglass, and I suspect that if you ruffled this in your hands and tried to form it, that you'd end up with fiberglass shards in your uh, in your skin, which would itch like hell. Anyway, uh, I saw people wanted a thin slice of it, and I saw them cut it with a hacksaw. Well, if you look at it real close, and I've played with this piece, you can see here where I tried to uh, cut a disc out, and the oddest thing happened when <coughs> when I tried to cut it with a disc, it cut, but right where it cut, when I got down to the bottom and lift the disc off, there was powder. It turned from, the cutting process turned it from a fiber back, fiber back into a powder. And when I blew on it, that powder just went into the air and went everywhere. I did not inhale it, and don't plan to in the near future. <coughs> I got a sneaking hunch that would not be a good idea. Okay, if you wanted to get a thin piece of it, I saw another guy use a hacksaw to get a thin piece to make a stove. Uh, it appears to be on the end to be made out of just about 65 gazillion single layers. And you can just take any number of layers that you want and just, just peel them apart. And make it any thickness you want to. There's no need to use a hacksaw. <coughs> now, once you tear it apart, you'll notice that, see how it's all, fun? it's like cotton, and you can just, you can see, you can just, uh, yeah, it's like cat hair, and, and there's no durability to it at all, it just, if you had this in a stove and just grabbed all of it, you just pull a chunk right out of it, it's not, it's not like carbon felt where it's tough. Uh, so if I was going to put this in any kind of a stove, I'd want to put something over it to protect it so that it didn't get eroded. And I certainly wouldn't use it in anything for a stove that had a wick that stuck up into the open that you'd be adjusting or anything like an SS2. This would, wouldn't work well for that. Okay. Uh, second thing I noticed about it is, uh, is it compresses. You can compress it right down and it'll stay compressed. It doesn't spring back. Uh, and the more you compress it, the less alcohol it absorbs. The third thing I noticed was that, <coughs> for me personally, I noticed it didn't give up the alcohol nearly as quickly as carbon felt. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a bad cold here flu. Uh, it would give off the alcohol, but not nearly as freely as a carbon felt. It's so thick and dense 
and find that it tends to hang on to it and let go of it at just a certain rate. So I couldn't achieve the heat with this that I could with carbon felt. And that, that's just my experiment using one stove one time. Take it for what it's worth. And when you put it in the stove, you want to make sure you don't put it in very tight because uh, carbon felt, even you put it in tight after you burn it a few times, it kind of shakes out, relaxes, and shrinks a little bit. It's fine. You put this in tight, and it'll never loosen up again. It'll always be tight, and it will never perform correctly. Uh, now, as far as price goes, this is a lot cheaper than carbon felt. I got a big old block of it here. It's an inch thick for like eight bucks. So it's a lot cheaper than carbon felt. In my defense, you know, how much carbon felt does it take <coughs> for a stove, you know? Like 15 cents worth? I mean, yeah, you can't buy a piece that small, but, you know, a candle, uh, carbon felt hand wraps a buck, and that's enough to make, you know, two or three. Well, if you're well, if you're going with SS2s, <coughs> that's enough for like six or seven SS2s. So price isn't really, isn't really a factor. <coughs> and carbon felt does shrink. Uh, I've never found that to be any big problem. I usually put it in a little thicker than I want it <coughs> and let it shrink down, but this stuff doesn't shrink. So, uh, you know, there you have it. That's what it's like. Uh, I have a lot of it here. If, if when you place an order, you want a piece, I'll cut a chunk off and throw it in a bag and you can play with it. It, it certainly, I think, got its place. Just, uh, know where I'd use it. Just because it's kind of scary stuff. And not very durable at all. I don't see a lot of advantages to it. You certainly, <coughs> certainly would never make a windscreen out of it. Or a black spot. Or a pot cozy or anything like that. The only thing you use it for is in, in a stove that's completely enclosed like a puck. And then put a screen over the top of it to protect it. Hey, that's what I know. Uh, I'm kind of, kind of disappointed. But uh, I understand they use it for insulation in a kiln for doing ceramics and stuff. And it'll take like 2200 degrees of heat. So anyway, I'm Tinny from Any Bowl Design. Try to have a really great day. Try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye.